I, I just got words now that uh, my brother Mike Messikeno is standing by at the newspaper stand to give us some updates with fans raving about what the whole weekend will look like. Mike Messikeno, where are you? Come on, pop it up and let's do this. Mark Otabo, good morning. It is great to be here this uh, wonderful Saturday morning. And I know you're talking about coaches, uh, coaches and Nagel's man, of course, Tukil, and all of the brouhaha happen, happening in the German Bundesliga. But uh, for me, I would say that, yeah, Tukil, of course, he's leaving. But uh, I would rather have Xabi Alonso move to Liverpool rather than move to Bayern Munich. Now, talking about Liverpool, Liverpool and Chelsea will be up for the EFL Cup final tomorrow. So I came to this speech, we came to this speech this morning to have a feel of what Liverpool fans and Chelsea fans feel about the match tomorrow, right? So, uh, Undubu, Laulu, okay, so come on, let's talk, let's talk. I have a Chelsea fan here and a Liverpool fan here, but they are going to give their own predictions and talk about the match for tomorrow. It's great to have you guys here. Okay, so, Liverpool, okay, no, this way, you are Chelsea, this way. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. all right, so Undubu, Chelsea will be up against Liverpool tomorrow. What are your thoughts, what are your expectations for your team tomorrow? The expectations are much. Uh, we expect Pochettino to win, obviously, because uh, he has not been given up to the tax. So, um, and Klopp obviously wants to use the, the Carabao Cup final as a send for, but that obviously won't happen. Are you sure if they defeated you just for one, just a few, you know, weeks back? You think that Chelsea can, you know, can come back and win that particular final for Pochettino this time? There's always an op uh, an option for revenge, and that's actually what we are going for. He said revenge, Laulu. Mike, don't let me talk too much. Yeah. We've beaten them for one. Mm. What else do they want? They like King. Just like people beating them. Mm. This is club last season. I just, I just want to remind you. Mm. And we are going to win. Mm. We are winning this trophy. Chelsea is not a match now. If it's a match city now, you can still even compete. Like, okay. Who do you want to stop? Who want to stop? Who want to stop who? Talk to me now. Who want to stop who? <laughs> who's who's tracking? Who want to stop who? No way. Who's stopping who? We, we play as a team. We don't have any particular person that we okay, have, have to mark. Okay, let's just predictions. What are your predictions? 2-1 uh, to Chelsea. 2-1 to Chelsea. Yes. Okay, how about you? 4-1 Liverpool. Another one again. Oh, Another 4-1. Okay. All right, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you later. Go enjoy your game. All right, so that's it. Chelsea Liverpool tomorrow, 2-1, 4-1. Maybe later on we'll talk about how and what they feel about it. But for me, for tomorrow, I think based on recent, on recent form, it'll be a match or it'll be a win for Liverpool. Of course, uh, what kind of way to give a send forth to Jurgen Club. I don't know what you guys think in the studio, but from here... I'm signing out. Mark, take it away. Thank you very much, Mike Mexicano, for that beautiful analysis with two fans there scoring out with each other. Now, before we, uh, you know, final take on the Thomas Suku yeah. story quickly before we ride on to um, the So, yeah, I agree with you with the fact that um, it was too early. Uh, or the decision to sack Nagelsmann yeah. didn't make a lot of sense. Okay. In fact, if you look at the news that started coming out, they're talking about how it was so meek. He didn't have a stronghold in the dressing room. But he was winning. Mm. His win rate and was... And the players love his yes, style of play. Not, not every one of them. We saw some of the German internationals okay. who were almost the same age, just like him, or who have stayed in the club for a long time, mm. you know, have that dressing room um, issue, like issue with him. You know, it happened at Chelsea too with Villas Boas and, yeah, and yeah, the rest. So watch, yeah. we see when coaches are very young mm. and then you're almost... In fact, I think... Um, um, Noya is one year older than Nigelsman, so <laughs> it, it happens. They be like, "This guy, I'm, I'm older than you, or maybe you're um, the, but the they, amount but of they years." But they are paying these players week in. That's week. it. What is your business? Oh my, managers, see, men and it's, ego, it's just like men that. and ego. It's, it's just it's like normal. That. So I, I, I it felt, has to happen. I felt it was so premature. Okay. Started talking about all of those things, talking about his girlfriend coming to the um, training room. Okay, let's even leave that. Before we go, let's things. leave that aside. Now, Xabi Alonso now has been touted to take mm. over at Bayern Munich, but uh, Nagelsmann is warning Xabi that, look, it's better you go to Liverpool I'm where they have you. a long-term project and uh, patience. Mm -hmm. Bayern Munich don't have that patience like you think they have. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're flying with Leverkusen doesn't mean things are going to work out well for your Bayern. That's a very good advice for yeah. him because I'm sure that's, that was why Jurgen Klopp came to Liverpool. Because if you see Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp is a man that coaches for a long time, for Mainz for eight years, from there 2015 to all the way for uh, 2008, 2015 for Dortmund before Liverpool nine years. Okay. So just three teams. Time is over. So we have to go now. Your prediction, Chelsea, Liverpool. Oh, it's going to be Liverpool 3-1. 3-1. Your prediction? Liverpool should take this. Liverpool should take this.